Can we get a clap of it? Okay. I was a cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> If you can't tell. These cookies I've been making since I was very young. They're very near and dear to me. They're probably one of the first items that made me really want to be involved in the culinary world. I'm Sarah McIntosh. I'm here to make chocolate chip cookies with you today. We sell them at our restaurant here in Austin, Texas. It's called Epicerie and they're one of our most popular items. For these delicious homemade cookies, you're gonna need some brown sugar, some white sugar, a semi-sweet and a dark chocolate, baking soda, a little bit of salt, a little bit of vanilla, and a couple farm eggs. We're also gonna need some flour and butter that I've had in the freezer for the last 30 minutes. It's really important that these ingredients stay super cold to give us the best, highest quality cookie. To start these chocolate chip cookies, we're gonna have the butter that came out of the freezer, and we're gonna put it in the bowl. It should be nice and hard. Um, that's what's gonna keep your cookie nice and dense and have that melty chocolate in the middle so it doesn't like spread out too much. And then after adding the butter, I'm gonna add the brown sugar and the white sugar, and then we're gonna go ahead and mix. I'm just gonna start on low speed. And it's really important when you mix not to cream the butter. And we don't want all the butter to like break because leaving the butter in a little bit of chunks is what's gonna steam and make your cookie have a little bit of volume to it. And I'm just gonna keep going low until I have very small chunks of butter left. Okay, so we're getting to the point where I'm going to turn it off and we have nice chunks of butter left. So at this point, I'm going to add our eggs. I'm gonna crack them in a separate bowl. That'll keep us from getting any shells in the dough. And then I'm gonna add the vanilla to the eggs and then we're gonna add it to the bowl and mix again. The whole time we're mixing though, we're gonna be watching that butter. We don't wanna over mix and get the butter too mixed into the dough. Now our eggs are just mixed into the dough, so I'm gonna turn it off, and I'm gonna take our dry ingredients, which are gonna be our flour, our baking soda, and our salt. I'm gonna mix those together. And this recipe does have a good amount of salt. It really enhances the flavor of that chocolate and you know, kind of competes with the sweetness. Once we have that mixed together, I'm just gonna pour the flour right in, and then we're gonna mix. So as soon as I see the flour absorbing into the cookie dough, I'm gonna turn it off because we're gonna add our chocolate chips last and we don't want it to be all the way mixed. Then we add our chocolate chips and it gets over mixed. So we're there. Now I'm gonna add both chocolate chips. Now I'm just gonna mix again on low speed just so it comes together. We use a semi-sweet and a dark chocolate chip and the semi-sweet adds just the right amount of creaminess and richness and the dark chocolate adds that bitterness that we're really looking for. I'm just waiting for it to get all the flour from the bottom and then they'll be ready. All right, these are good and ready to go. It's time to start forming the cookies. Now that we have the dough all ready to go, I'm gonna scoop them on this nine by 13 non-stick sheet tray. If you don't have a non-stick, you should use parchment, but since I do today, I'm not gonna use it. If you have a cookie scoop, that's a great option, like a two ounce cookie scoop. I'm just gonna use a spoon today um, and kind of hand shape them. But you want a nice big cookie and they're homemade, so they're supposed to look nice and rustic. I have my oven preheated to 375. I have this sheet tray of cookies ready to go. And I'm gonna leave those in there for about six to eight minutes. I'm gonna check them at six minutes and they should be nice and browned, but not too dark. It's been six minutes, we're gonna check on our cookies and they are perfect. So these are great. This is crispy, golden brown. This is exactly what you want them to look like. We're gonna let these cool for like one to two minutes on the sheet tray and then I'm gonna take them off and put them on a platter. These are the best. I mean, all cookies should be eaten warm and then it's time to indulge. These cookies are perfect with some milk or some coffee in the afternoon if you need it. Mm. They're nice and soft but crunchy and you get the nice bitterness from the dark chocolate, the saltiness from the salt obviously, and they're just my favorite cookies. Thanks so much for joining me to make these wonderful chocolate chip cookies. They really are the best and so easy to make. I hope that you'll try them and let us know what you think. Again, I'm Sarah McIntosh from a Peacery here in Austin, Texas. See you again soon.